What's up guys, I'm Sean. Today's video I'm going to show you how to install the Burger Motorsports JB4 Tune on your BMW 335 E90, E92 with the N54 engine. So this is what we're installing, the Burger Motorsports JB4 Tune with the G5 board. So the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the battery and the trunk. Turn that, move this over. And all you have to do is just loosen up the negative with the tin and move it out of the way. And just move this completely out of the way so there's no power to the car. Now we're at the front of the car and we're gonna have to move the the cow and the cover to get to the ECU. Pop this off. We're gonna pop this one off. Just the ECU cover. We're gonna turn this little clip for the sensor. Move it out of the way. Move the eight millimeter bolt there and the one on the other side and the two, so there's two, four, six bolts on this. And now we're gonna pull this off. You can use a screwdriver or whatever tool you have to pry right here to pull out this wiring harness and then you just took this out. The whole thing will come out. Now we have access to the ECU cover. There's a plastic tab here that you just slide back. Just slide this one to unlock. And these black tabs on the corner. All you have to do is just on the corners, you just pull them up. And here's the ECU. So this is where we're gonna get to. You want to have more access to the ECU. There's these little tabs that you can just pull your finger, and the whole ECU, the whole ECU will slide up to give you more access. So once the ECU is kind of up here, you can pull this. This unit's going to come off, and then. The other side, pull that, and then the shooter comes off. Now, with a small screwdriver, we're gonna remove the sliders from this connector, and you get it from the top. And there's a little spot right there. You use your small screwdriver, and you insert here, and then you pull the slider out. The slider comes out, do the same for the other side, insert it here, and the slider will come out. You do it on both sides, and the slider will come out. So now we can actually slide these connectors out. See there's an arrow here, it only goes in one way. If you have troubles getting out the connectors, you can stick a small screwdriver there and the host, the connectors will come out. So the JB4, the wires are color coordinated. You have the gray connector, red wires, black connector, red wires, and then the black connector, a bigger one, black wires. So you can kind of see where they plug into. So on the smaller connector, I just removed the the black wire and the gray wire. And then, see they can only go in one way, so make sure that the arrows point inward like they were before. So I'm going to grab the ECU from the JB4. black wires with the arrows pointing in the same direction Go like this. and this gets reinstated here the gray wires with the arrows pointing in the same direction 
inserted here. And now we're going to reinsert this into the holder. So that side's done. Now we're going to move on to this side, to this larger connector. Same thing, we can use a small little screwdriver. Press on those tabs so this connector comes out. This connector comes out. This is a large black connector. Make sure the arrows are pointing in the same direction. smaller white one the arrows pointing in the same direction and then we're going to reinsert it into the connector So we're going to reinstall the slider. And then we're going to install it to the ECU. I pull the ECU up, ECU up a little bit. And once I have more clearance, I could move the slider a little bit to make sure that the connectors go down and seat flush before I push this thing in all the way. So now all the connectors are we're in and we're basically just going to install the power wire now pull up this this whole entire connector and pop off this cover with a small screwdriver and then we're going to take the power wire from number two so this is two there and it's here so we're just going to just take a small screwdriver in here and this number two connector will slide out. This connector's out. Then we're going to install the power wire on the JB4 into that slot with the tap facing up just like the original connector. The JB4 power wire is connected insert it then we're just going to close this back and the factory wire that we unhooked we're going to insert it to the JB4 one now all we have to do is slide this connector back down to its spot now see so connect the wire harness to the JB4 board right here and if you have a USB connect cable connected to that side then what we're going to do next is reinstall the battery start the car everything runs smoothly there's no cell lights or anything um, then you can start putting stuff back together um, you can tuck this into one of these slots and then you know press this down make sure that none of the connectors are coming off and then restore the cover Put everything back together. Um, if you're having troubles, uh, double check your work. And if you're still having troubles, then contact Burger Motorsports to troubleshoot it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.